Well, that sucks. I fucking died. Why did I die? Yo, out of my way. I don't even know how that works, but somehow it does. Which is amazing. like the rest of your pathetic kind. So this is basically mandatory, because without that, I don't think I can jump high enough to go anywhere. Here we go. Hit the switch, collect blue star chips, but I can't dip them in salsa because I'm not at home right now. Well, in the game, I'm not at home. I'm in space. Are they bumping into each other? That is hilarious. I guess you don't need the green guy to get that one. Oh well. Rip. Rip usefulness of green top man guy. You're obsolete now. I'm Luigi. I can jump so high I don't need your help. Boom, 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 boom. I like how this is lit up now. Showing that I've already gone this way. Thanks, game. Even though I died. Boom, 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 boom. Camera. Cooperate. It fires, we go. All right, this time I actually have to pay attention, I guess. Forward! Forward. Get all those, real quick. Bang, bang. There we go. We're in the launch star. And now for the fun part! Jump. 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 Ow! Jump! Jump! Jump. 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 Well, screw you guys, I'm leaving. Mm. Kill the guys, not this time, because I'm kind of in a hurry to get to the top and settle the score once and for all. So this is the return of the return of the return of the revenge of the Top Man tribe. You have to fight this guy like four times. It's crazy. Okay, sir? You died faster last time, so I've got complaints. I got loads of complaints. I'm gonna file a complaint with your supervisor. And he's like, I am the supervisor. All right, seriously, we need you need to die fast. I don't have time for this. There you go. I like how he died faster when I was not doing the speed run. That's just great. Oh well, good enough. Good job, you got the thing! Deja vu! Oh my gosh. Deja vu indeed. Just fought that guy twice in a row. And I had to run to him both times too. The Red Not Galaxy, that's 109 stars. I got a coin! Is that a new high score? Nice. New high score is one coin. It's a new record. Next time we'll get two coins. Maybe. Then there's that hidden stock. The one that sucks the most. Garbage dump. I mean ammo depot. The ammo depot, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh, it's the Revenge of the Top Man tribe again. No, it's not. This time we go down here. We jump in the pipe. Simple as that. Hello, robot. You know how hard it is keeping a dreadnought clean? And then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo depot. Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash? Well, here we go. It's time for torture. 
run and grab a thing. Because the faster you grab it, the faster it starts ticking down, and that's required for it to explode. And if it doesn't explode in time, you are kind of screwed. Not gonna lie. We need precise placement. That's the thing. That was, that's what makes this challenging. Ten. Nine. I'm not gonna grab that last bomb in time, so this is not working out, I can tell you that already. As perfect as that placement is, it's not gonna explode in time. And I missed that one. That's what makes this challenging. You have to do it perfectly, otherwise it just doesn't work. So here we go again. Run and grab a thing. He's got a bomb! Look out, folks. It's Luigi the Terrorist. I wonder if that's good placement or not. I really hope it is. Explode, darn you! Oh, I got it! Sweet! Wow, I'm never going to take out the trash again, now that I know that you can just blow it up. Oh, take this as my thanks. I found it lying around. Yeah, right. One does not simply find a power star lying around. Ridiculous. Heresy! Good job. You got the thing. Ta-da! What about a boom? Good job, you got the thing! I don't usually say it there, but hey, the star count is now 110% legit. Save your game? Yes, indeed. Hmm, so where to next? Melty Molten Galaxy. Wait, what? Oh. Welcoming Soft Machine 1992 to the Sport Clone Army. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Anyway, it's time for Melty Molten Galaxy. This is like the last galaxy in the game, and then I have to go do well, the last galaxy in this dome. Then I have to do the trial galaxies and stuff. The sinking lava spire. Oh, this one is fun and a half. And then there's a dare daredevil run of it later. Crazy man. I love the Melty Molten Galaxy music so much. It's the best. Maybe not the best. Bowie Bay's Galaxy is still pretty good. But you know, it's amazing. Oh, you're okay? Cool. Just okay though, not excellent. Hope things get better then. <laughs> or whatever. I suppose it's all good. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Get ready to long jump across. There we go. You can't stand on these for long because they sink. Faster than the Titanic. Faster than a Titanic hitting an iceberg. Faster than a boat. Faster than a speeding boat. Do the stylish thing. There we go. That's what you want. Okay. No need to get violent now. There we go. All too easy. There's also purple coins here later, too. That's gonna be fun, I tell you what. But not nearly as painful as those dreadnought purple coins. That took me a lot of tries this time. I forget what's down here. The lava is rising. I may not actually get all the star bits. But, you know, that's still worth it. Because I'm pretty sure I need 1,600 of them for the, the Hungry Luma. The final Hungry Luma. Not this Hungry Luma. Although I could do this if I have enough. This would be the hidden star. You need 80? Well, I've got 80, so let's not waste the opportunity. I guess we're going on a detour. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transformer! 
favorite Mario game? I don't know, it might be this one. Although I do like Mario 64 and Sunshine. My complaint with Sunshine though is those darn blue coins. I was streaming Sunshine a while back and I forced myself to get 100% using a blue coin guide. And I gotta say, some of those blue coins are ridiculous. Like there's an M, like in Serena Beach inside that hotel, that M only appears on one episode and it's up in the attic. And that's when they tell you to go to the casino for that secret or whatever. It's so obscure, what the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I didn't realize, I thought I could stand there. Wow, okay. Wait, 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 wait! Let's not die again! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I should say my favorite Mario game is Super Luigi Galaxy. <laughs> no! Go away, you pricks! Back! Back, you fiends! I need that live shroom. That is my next goal. Perfect. Bounce me right to it. It's the burning butt strat. It's Luigi's highest jump. Probably not, actually. But it'd be funny if it was. Wow, you can actually dodge these guys. Okay, I just, I hate them. I hate the little blue guys so much. They're such jerks. One more. And it's over there. Whoosh! Fusion? Ha! All the silver stars have fused into a power star. And it ran away from me for some reason. That's okay. I got hurt and then I got a coin. It's fine. Okay. Don't get kicked then. Wait, did I just go the wrong way? Oh, good grief. Where's the power star? Mario 64? Hey, yeah, it was good. The camera sucked, but it was like the first 3D Mario game, so I guess we can cut it some slack. Mario 64 is pretty short once you've been through it a few times, because then you start to almost speedrun it. Oh my goodness. Was I not paying attention to where the Power Star was? I could have swore I was. Oh, it's over there. Stop catching on fire. This bully will not leave me alone. Someone call the cops. Go away, Fire Nation. But never mind everything. Good job, you got the thing. Ta da! Ba da ba da boom. Okay, there was one person who last night asked me if I was going to be streaming tonight, and I'm surprised she's not here. I've been going for. 44 minutes, which is not long compared to a full stream, but still. It's a little lonely tonight, which is kind of unusual based on the last few streams. But it's all good, I suppose. We going back in for more. That was the hidden star. Now I have to do the real one. Burning Tide. Now time for the actual Sinking Lava Spire. I usually go for... Well, like, streaming after work, I think it's usually four or five hours. And then, like, during my daytime on Mondays, I'll go for six hours easily. Although I'm pretty close to the end of this game, so... I'm not sure what I will switch to after I finish this, because I'm... It's not that far away from the end. It's not gonna take a full... four hours or whatever. I could always go into Mario Galaxy 2 or maybe Super Paper Mario, I don't know. I've got those installed or whatever. I've actually never finished Super Paper Mario, it's crazy. It was all those years ago, the game was like sold to GameStop because I had to pay rent before I could finish it. 
And funny story about Mario Galaxy, I never got to do the Luigi playthrough on the actual console. So now I just do it in the emulator. I did get 100% as Mario, though, and unlocked Luigi. I just never actually got to use him on the console back in 2007, because this is, like, the only game that I ever pre-ordered. And boy, it was worth it. It's a good one. I don't usually pre-order games. Mario Galaxy was the exception. I don't have my copy anymore, though. Kind of sucks, but, you know. I also don't really use my Wii. I mostly use my PC for everything, so that's why I emulate so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So there's streams to jump over, then walk okay, to the left and the right, hit the switch, and the thing goes down. Pause for a brief moment, jump in the star and go to the volcano. And then, well, I'll go back down here and get star bits again, because I still do need those for the Hungry Luma that's going to appear eventually. So I'm doing this again. That's good enough, let's go. Also, there's gonna be a bunch here again. They're handing them out like candy now, which is nice. And no, we're not going that way this time. This time we're going the normal way. There's a pull star path here. Hmm. Yeah. Push. Oh, that was painful. There's a live stream ahead. I'm gonna be careful. Then I'm gonna go for that. Skip it a dip, a bop, boom. Live stream. Okay, there's the thing. Okay, we don't need to fall, just go into the thing. There we go. This game always did have a very cinematic feel to it, especially like this part where you're just flying and there's lava below you and there's fire above. It's just amazing. It's like you're not doing anything and the game is on autopilot for a moment, but it just looks amazing to me. I love it. Now it's time for star chips and salsa. We better we have to not step in the salsa, because basically this is the Flores Lava Simulator 2007. Ow. There we go. It's no longer the long jump, it's the Luigi jump. The name has been changed. Because only Luigi can personify the long jump this well. Or whatever. Maybe personify is not the right word. Exemplify? That could be it. I don't know. There's the launch star. I can't believe there's a daredevil run of this later. That's gonna suck. Probably. Because I think you have to go through all that stuff from the very beginning. Not just, the, not just this part. You have to go through the whole thing with one health. So I think objectively it's like the hardest daredevil run in the game. And it's not a boss fight for once. Usually Daredevil runs are boss fights. The exception is Melty Molten Galaxy. It's different. Anyway. I'm probably not going to collect many star bits, but I will try. No, I won't try. Screw that. Moving on. Nope. This is practice for the Daredevil run anyway. Which I've already failed, because look at me. I'm at 5 health. I got hit somewhere. Can't believe you have to collect those star chips with one health. All right, let's not die here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Game does look visually great considering it's been out a decade and was on the Wii, yeah indeed, it's pretty old. And sure, I got the, I got Dolphin running it in a higher resolution than it normally would be, but it still looked amazing even back then. That wasn't so bad. The Daredevil run is gonna suck a big one, though. At least it has before. It's all the way from the beginning. Good job. You got the thing. Ta-da. 
Ba-da-ba-da-boom.